Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another episode of Sip and Thrift. If you're new here, this is something I do pretty often where we go on some sort of thrifting adventure together. We also stop at a new coffee shop and try a fun caffeinated drink along the way. And today I am in the mood to try to find the most springy spring clothes that we possibly can. I am picturing florals, I'm picturing skirts, I'm picturing flowy blouses. I really hope that we're able to go and find those things. I cannot wait, but I quickly wanna just say that this video is sponsored by Enroot, which is an adorable jewelry company I love. And we will be pairing a few of their jewelry items with whatever we find today to create a whole little spring look. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you probably know this last year, I got really on a jewelry kick. <laughs> I just really enjoy finding cute jewelry and I made it a goal to try to find one brand that I love at each price point. So I found about four different brands that I love at four various price points and in root is by far the most affordable brand and affordable price point that I found and they won that category. <laughs> These hoops that I'm wearing right here are called the Sienna blue earrings. I think that they're just so fun. And these are $24. The quality is so good. I have some in root pieces that I sleep in, shower and work out in, and the quality is held up over time. So everything that we try on today, I will have linked down below. They will be affiliate links as well, which will help to support my channel. So I always appreciate it when you guys use my links. I cannot wait to go thrifting. I cannot wait to see what we can pair with these adorable pieces of jewelry. Let's get into the video. Just pulled up to Goodwill, my favorite. It's so funny because I'm filming this late April and I knew that I was gonna be filming a spring thrifting haul today. Yesterday it was like 80 degrees and sunny. Today is like high of 60, which doesn't sound that cold, but for LA it's so cold. So I wanted to keep the spring spirit alive. So I'm wearing a sweater, but my most springish sweater. This is very old Madewell. <laughs> Keeping the spirit alive. Let's go see what spring finds we can find. Hoping for a lot of floral, hoping for some dresses. Fingers crossed it might be picked over. Let's go see. This is fun. It is like cropped, high neck, poofy sleeve, light floral, so it could be springy. Kind of sheer. Might be hard to style, but let's get it. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, this would be so fun, but it's an urban outfit. It's large, so it'd be too big, but it's a yellow corduroy jumpsuit, and it's urban outfitters. Gosh dang. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just found this. It's a size eight, so I don't know exactly how it's gonna fit me, but it's top shop. And this is like the perfect spring blouse, like totally, totally my style, more so than the last one. I think it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait to go try that one on. Okay, a dress that looks promising, also size eight but it has this adorable button down kind of rouging in the front and it's like a mini length, maybe more like knee length, but it's tie waist. And y'all know, I always go for tie waist because you can kind of make it your own size and it has florals, which is what I was looking for. So definitely fits the spring vibe. We're gonna try it, $8.99, we're gonna try it. Okay, this teeny tiny little tube top, teeny tiny tube top, say that three times fast, is so outside of my comfort zone, but I feel like it fits the assignment and it might look really cute with some like high-waisted relaxed jeans. So I kind of want to try it. <laughs> I think we should get it. You would never believe what I just found. A free people tank, totally springy, lightweight, cute, flouncy, I cannot believe it. How much is it? I didn't even look. I was too excited. I just grabbed it. $3.99. $3.99. Okay, that concludes it. I gotta end on that high note. Quit while I'm ahead. I'm gonna go check out and then let's go. Let's 
go get our coffee. Our cost breakdown was $30 for one, two, three, four, five things. So an average of $6 a piece. We have two tops for $3.99. The dress was $8.99. The long sleeve shirts were $6.99. I am so curious. I know Goodwill is anywhere and everywhere. And I could have sworn when I lived in Texas, prices were a little bit cheaper. A lot of things in our Goodwill is $14.99, which just seems like so much. So I would love for you to comment down below. And if, especially if you live in different states and let me know if you think that the pricing tends to differ state to state. But I'm very excited for our coffee. There's a place in North Pass, so actually closer to my new neighborhood that I haven't been to in over a year, and it's called Highlight Coffee. They're adorable. They close at three, so we gotta go fast. I hope they're allowing people inside. Not exactly sure, but since I haven't been there in so long and since it's kind of closer to my new hood, I think it's a great spot for us to go today. Let's go check it out. This is what happened. I haven't tried it yet. I asked the guy, I said, what's your favorite thing on the menu that is warm and can be made with oat milk? And he said, do you like sweet? And I said, as long as it's not like super sweet, I'm down with sweet. And then he said, the orange vanilla, blah, 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 couldn't hear him, <laughs> is really good. And I said, okay, let's try it. But don't exactly know what he said. Probably a latte based off of the size of this. Oh yeah totally looks like a latte. I can smell the espresso. It smells a little bitter, which some people love. Let's taste it. Let's see. That is so good. It is not too sweet at all. It's like a four out of 10 sweet, which is perfect. I don't really like anything six and above out of 10 sweetness. I don't really get the vanilla, but I definitely get a little hint of orange. You know, it's kind of like orange creamsicle, which I guess is where the vanilla would come into play. That's really good. Oh, it is kind of springy, even though it's chilly and gloomy outside. Let's go home. Let's try on our pieces. Let's pair it with some cute jewelry and let's just be springy and happy. What do you say? Let's go. Okay, we are home from thrifting. I am so excited to try these things on. This coffee is still going strong. Mm, I'm definitely gonna start looking for orange coffee drinks from now on. And I have a few other pieces of jewelry that I have picked out online and set aside. I haven't even opened them yet. I've been saving them for this video that I'm so excited to pair with what we found. So let's start trying things on. What do you say? Okay, honestly, out of everything, this is what I'm iffiest about, but it's also just so spring. To me, this has like Easter Sunday vibes to it because it's a little bit fancy. It's light, it's floral, but I think it'd be really cute with some high-waisted pants. So let's try it on. This is a no. This is a hard, no, I look like a confused pirate. <laughs> this neck needs to be tight for this to work. And this is just, it's like floppy. It's too much. It's a no, it's a no. I mean, this is flattering where it hits me on the waist. If this shirt was cute, it would definitely be cute with some larger hoops, like the ones I was wearing already. So this is what I would pair with this if this shirt were cute, but something about this neckline, I feel like it's a bad Halloween costume. This or the tube top are the ones that I was most iffy on, but I feel, I feel like the rest will go better. <laughs> My hopes for this one are so high. It is so me, but it has a little bit of something fun with a little bit of a poofy sleeve and the cinching around the waist, it's slightly cropped. I think it's just gonna be so flattering. I just hope it fits. That's the only thing that could go against me. It might be a little bit large for me, but oh, my hopes are high. Okay, we're getting better now. This one is so cute. This is so me, it's timeless, but it has a very romantic feel with the sleeves. That's, that's the word I've decided on for this shirt. It's just very romantic yet sophisticated and it is the best shirt for a little necklace moment. Look at how fun this necklace is. It has like an abstract silhouette, which is also sophisticated and romantic, just like the shirt. I pulled some dark high-waisted jeans because I feel like this will just go with all the shirts and I just, I love it. This is so me. This is so spring, so sophisticated, timeless. I'm happy about this one. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna really regret buying this one. 
<laughs> I've never worn anything like this before in my life, but I definitely feel like this could be fun with like your hair pinned up in a claw clip and some dangly earrings, almost kind of like slight 90s vibes. I need to go find my tan strapless bra for this one though. <laughs> I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. I appreciate the length. It goes right to where my jeans are, my high-waisted jeans. So that's cute. I do think I kind of nailed the 90s vibe between the claw clip and then these earrings. These are also the Sienna collection. These are the Sienna pearl earrings. They're so cute. Don't they have a 90s vibe? I just feel kind of exposed. I mean, my skin is healing. If you don't know, the current diagnosis I have is lupus. And I've had this like skin thing going on for well over a year, but I've been on hydroxychloroquine for two months now and it's kind of starting to kick in, but I've just, I haven't shown this much skin in over a year, so it feels foreign to me. Oh, also speaking of showing skin, I got cupping done yesterday. You wanna see? Ah! Yeah, so this shirt shows off a lot. <laughs> this is one I have not attached to at all. Curious to know your guys thoughts on it. Is it a little too much or is it kind of like a fun nod to maybe early 2000s, late 90s, kind of like Lizzie McGuire vibes? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. I cannot believe that we found a free people top for $3.99. New, this is probably at least what, $68, give or take, maybe more. Um, it's very, very classic free people. Flowy, ruffly, relaxed, long line. It gets longer in the back. So let's try it on. Let's see what we think. Okay, this is just very free people. It's like classic, classic free people. The only thing I'm iffy on is I feel like shirts that go high low, low in the back are pretty outdated. This I think would be so cute if it was all the same length. I mean, I feel like this is a fabric that I could cut to all the same length if you guys like it. This is a color that I'm always kind of iffy about because Things that are kind of pinky are kind of like my skin tone and I just feel a little washed out in this sometimes, but this is a little bit of a deeper pink. So I wanna know your guys' thoughts. If it's a keep, I do think that I will crop this all to the same length because I do think that that would be really cute. Here's kind of a visual as to what that would look like. But in terms of jewelry, I feel like the classic boho free people vibe is like, jewelry, 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 like kind of layer it on. So I left on everything we had previously, but I added a fun little ear cuff, which I think is so fun because I can like pretend like I have even more piercings, even though I just got extra piercings. I'm still waiting for them to heal. That's the look. How do we feel? <laughs> I will be checking for your comments, please and thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, the dress. I am really hoping this fits because I think that this dress is just so dang cute. The brand is JBS. Never heard of that. Honestly, the tag doesn't look super fancy or anything. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is like affordable department store kind of brand or something along those lines. But I think it's just so cute. I love the little yellow pops and the flowers. I think that's what makes it springy. But at the same time, black is kind of chic and fancy and timeless. Let's try it on. Guys, I'm so torn. I'll have to show you a mirror shot. I love this dress. I love it. I think it's so sweet and so cute, but this fabric is a little loose around the chest for me, even though I can tie it to my waist, but it's just, it is a little big. And I feel like you can tell with this dress a little bit more than with other tie waist dresses because this material doesn't have any stretch to it. It is it is what it is. But since this dress is so delicate, I paired it with a very delicate drop necklace. Is that not so pretty? Oh, wow, I love it. I wanna wear this dress somewhere, but I just think it's too big. I wanna show you in the mirror so you can tell me your thoughts on the fit. I feel like you can just tell it's not my size. Uh, since this is the last thing we're trying on, my office is a wreck, so sorry. In advance for the mirror shot. <laughs> the length is perfect. It is perfect. And I love that you can see a little bit of the sheer fabric. It's just such a pretty dress, but right here, this is the area that I feel like might be too big. I feel like if I could maybe get it taken in here, this is what it would look like if it was fitted how it should be. That's definitely so cute. I think I'd have to get it altered. Is it worth getting it altered? You let me know. Thank y'all so much for watching. I always have so much fun thrifting with you guys. If you have a specific challenge in mind, something that you wanna see me do, an adventure of sorts, comment it down below. I would love to know, cause I'm just, 
I'm just down. I'm down for the hunt. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you again to Enroot for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, I will have all the pieces of jewelry linked down below that we tried on today. I hope y'all have the best rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you in the video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?